Hey guys, Jimmy here, aka Valley of the Dead. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another terrain tutorial type video. Um, this one, dead simple, um, very, very easy techniques to do uh, with very, very few steps, but it gives you three different stone effect looks, as you can see right here. So you get the basalt look, you get the standard stone, and you get sandstone. Dead simple, very, very easy stuff to do. Um, follow these techniques if you wish to, or you can add more, kind of alter them how you see fit. But before we jump into everything, as always, if you like the videos, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment down below. It's always greatly appreciated. But I suppose we should just crack on with it. So starting off with the basalt kind of look, we go with an Abaddon black base coat or a matte black base. Very, very easy to do. Um, slap it all over and then dry brush over the top. A very heavy hill layer of storm vermin fur or dark gray. And this will give you a very nice look for whatever terrain you're doing at the time. And then, once that's dry, all you do is a dry brush of Cantor Blue over the entire lot. Um, do it slightly lighter, so it just catches and it turns into a grey-blue kind of effect. But, which will seem a bit weird and it'll seem a bit alien, but once you do the next step, which is applying Norm Oil, like I am here, it works very very well and you can see where the madness kind of comes uh, to make sense in all honesty. When the oil or non oil dries it goes a bit greyish and it does make the stone effects look really really well uh, because it'll only leave the edges looking like kind of slightly bluish in a way. And every now and again in non oil you get these weird little flecks but kind of make it look like a metallic in a sense. Then the most simple out of all of them, standard stone effect which is a Mechanica standard grey base coat or a dark grey base coat um, and then just dry brush over Dawnstone over the entire lot. Um, you can be slightly heavy handed with it um, but it works very very well and it's very easy to do. And then as a final step, all you do with that one is apply a dry brush of Administratum Grey. Um, dead simple. So you do it a bit lighter, just mainly attacking the edges and then kind of more sharper edges and everything like that over the entire model and the terrain that you're doing. Um, works very, very well and it looks pretty decent at the same time um, without using any shades, which is sometimes quite handy. And then moving on to the last technique, which is sandstone, which all you do, you start off with a base coat of Zandri dust and layer over seraphine sepia shade over the entire lot. This adds a load of warmth to the colouring and it will sit really, really well in all them recesses as well. Then once all that's dry, all you do is a nice dry brush of a shabty bone over the entire lot. Um, dead easy, really. It's probably the most one of the most simple techniques. The shabty bone uh, stands out a mile, especially when you're using Nova Zandri dust. Um, if you want to paint bones in a simple way as well, you can use Zandri dust and then a shabty bone over the top um, without any fiddling with shades. And then as a final step to lighten up the higher edges and everything like that, just dry brush over with Wraith Bone. Um, works really, really well. You can use things like Screaming Skull still as well if you've still got it, uh, if you've got any of it. Um, but this will lighten up all them sharper edges. So yeah, three very, very basic, but quite handy, quick little ways of painting these up. Uh, to be honest, that one, you can do that once the Mechanica Stano Grey is dry, you can do that in probably about five minutes. Very simple base, um, and then it gives you a bit more time to do a bit more of the kind of the finer details like the leaves and the bones and stuff like that if you wish to. Um, with the sandstone, that one's pretty easy, you just have to wait for that shade to dry. The same with the basalt kind of slate kind of look. 
uh, when you're using shades they take a lot longer to dry because they're more liquidized than, than standard paint uh, and stuff like that so but you can do it um, with these I think all three of these are painted in space of about an hour and a half um, at the very 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 most and that's why I'm being distracted doing other stuff so dead simple if though you're painting up bigger models so if you're doing things like it has a right ruins or you're doing that sigma right mausoleum or anything like that what you might want to do is invest in some spray paints very easy to do but what you can do is you can get these from Halfords, B&M Bargains, Wilco um, you can get the official GW ones or army painter ones from either Goblin Gaming or Element Games um, which Goblin Gaming was a link in the description down below for them um, or, which is an affiliate link for myself in all honesty um, which does earn me a little bit of money if you buy with them but they are a bit cheaper than buying directly from GW or Army Painter and you can get things like the Chaos Black Spray Primer you can get uh, there is a Desert Yellow which is really really good for things like Xandri Dust kind of colour and you can also get dark greys like Mechanic Standard Grey you can get Army Painter's Uniform Grey if you wish to and or if you go for Halfords, what you'll need is a matte primer. So you'll need, um, see, they've got a couple of grey primers and stuff like that on their website, which is dirt cheap. Um, you can get them from B&M, you can get them from Wilco's as well, which you just need to make sure you get a slightly darker grey if you're going for that stone effect. If you're going for the basalt kind of look, make sure it's a matte black spray primer. And for things like desert kind of looks, you need a desert sandy colour. Um, to get going but you need to make sure it's also matte as well very simple techniques very easy to do um, yeah if you've got any comments on these techniques or if you've got any tips or tricks or anything like that or different style effects that you'd like to see in the future um, that I can give a try out or anything like that let me know down below um, and I'll try drive them out and I'll see if they work and I'll try and do a video on them as well um, but for the now I suppose I shall love and leave you. Um, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye now.